Uh, we're doing child passenger safety events, so what we'll do is check car seats as parents come in. We will show them where the expiration date is on their car seat so they know when to stop using it. We'll check the straps for the children to make sure that they are properly at the right height and the right location so that they're properly restrained. And then we'll teach the parents how to reinstall the seat in the car. Um, three out of four seats are actually installed improperly, so it's really important that parents learn how to, to get a good fit in the car so the child is safe. Well, we'll get some information from the parents, and once the seat's out of the car, we're going to locate the manufacturer information for the product model number, the expiration date, uh, and when this was manufactured. And we will compare that with our recall list to make sure that there's no issues with the seat. Um, if parents registered their seat when they purchased it, there's a little postcard that comes with the seat. If they filled out that information, if there is a recall, the, the company will notify you and tell you what you need to do to fix the recall situation. Uh, once we make sure that everything's good, we'll reinstall it back into the car. Okay, so we'll put the seat here. And in most cars now, there is a latch system, so you don't even need to use the car seat belt to install the seat. So here on the seat, you'll see these little indicators, and this is the latch, and if you feel in there, there are metal rings. This will hook to the metal rings, and there's another one. Usually, if it's a car, you're gonna see it back here. Um, SUVs, a lot of times, it's gonna be on the back of the seat, uh -huh. um, or maybe even on the floor behind the seat. So that's where the top tether strap will attach. And just clip these in. We've, we've clipped this into the metal. Now we'll find the other one for this side. In some cars, they're a little further back than others, and you'll hear it click. Then you need to position the seat so that it is straight up. You can connect this one with the tether, the top tether strap. Now here is the most important part. You need this to be really tight in the car. The best way to do that, you can do this yourself or if you have somebody to help you, is to kneel down in the seat. Okay, we're gonna apply some weight to the seat so that we can tighten this latch strap so that it is snug in the vehicle. And then we will check to be sure that it's tight enough. Once the child is in the seat, we need this clip to be at armpit level. And since this is a forward facing seat, this is going to be a little bit older child, anywhere from maybe one, one and a half, they're going to be forward facing. These straps need to be at or above their shoulders. You don't want their shoulders to be below, or these straps to be below the shoulders and come up over. So there's, there's other positions here that as they grow taller, we'll be able to move the straps up. Okay. Uh, this seat, the harness system goes up to 65 pounds because the five-point harness is the safest for your child. Um, a lot of kids do move into boosters uh, where they're just using the seat belt and the booster seat is positioning them so the seat belt fits them properly. But if you want them to be in the, the harness longer, then when you purchase your seat, you should look at the, the stickers on the seat and go for a seat that has a higher weight limit. That way you can keep your child in the five-point harness longer. Um, most standard seats are just a 40 pound weight limit, but you know, my child is four and he's still in a five point harness. So we, we can keep him in here until he's about 65 pounds.